Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. It's me, BJ here today. I'll be showing you about the software and its two categorized types, which are the system software and application software. Software is the instructions that tells a computer what to do. These program instructions are loaded into the main memory of the computer to start the program execution. The microprocessor, also called as the central processing unit or the CPU, is the brain of the computer and collects these program instructions from the main memory, which is the RAM. These machine instructions in binary can be decoded and directly executed by the microprocessor to perform various operations as the program instructions. In other words, the software is the essential component of every computer system. Software is also categorized into two types, which are the system software and application software. The system software consists of programs that control the operation of the computer. And the most important is, it serves as the interface between the user, hardware, and application software. Operating system is a one type of system software which contains instructions that coordinate all activities of the computer hardware devices and allow how to perform functions such as transferring data between input devices including the computer memory, processing programs instructions, communicating with the computer hardware, software, and other computer functions. There are different operating systems. First is the standalone and the second one is the embedded. The standalone is a complete operating system that works on desktops, computer, laptop, and notebook. On the other hand, the embedded is a kind of operating system in an internal chip used commonly in mobile devices and other electronic devices such as iOS and Android. Now, we will proceed to the category of software which is the application software. The example of application software includes the word processor or the MS Word, the Google Drive document, and the Open Office Writer. This application program allows the user to perform specific tasks like writing documents, making project presentations, video recordings, saving, and editing files. It can be used also as the productivity tool, create graphics and multimedia, support the school and professional activities, and lastly, it facilitates the communication. There are several types of application software, and this includes the instructional software, the productivity software, and administrative software. But first, we will tackle the instructional software. It is a type of software designed to deliver instructions or aid with the delivery of instructions. Second is the productivity software. It's designed to help teachers and students creating their reports, computing grades, keeping records effectively and efficiently. And lastly, the administrative software. These are programs that administrators at school use to establish and strengthen record keeping and exchanging of information among various institutions and agencies. So there you have it folks, the software and its categorized types, which are the system software and application software, each plays a crucial role in our digital lives and understanding them can help us to make the most of our technology. Thanks for joining me today and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech videos. This is DJ Nice now signing off.